Well, good morning, everyone. Sunny Arizona. I'm Jack Tucker. This is Gold Fever Adventures. I'm out here on a private mining claim, and I'm going to be doing me a little bit of prospecting today. A few of you have asked about that XB Deus. Well, what I figured I was going to do today, I've got the uh, Mine Lab 6000, GPX 6000. That's a PI machine. And I'm going to use it in conjunction with the XB Deus 2. So when I get a target or a signal, the uh, 6000 doesn't have a discrimination on it or a target ID on it like that Deus does. So I think I will identify the target or find the target with the 6000, then I will check it out with the Deus to see if I want to dig it up or not. Anyways, want to appreciate you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures, and let's just go see if we can find us some gold today. I'm in this wash right here, and you can see a lot of digging's been going on in through here. A lot of dry wash tailings all up and down through this see area. Some exposed caliche up through here, and that's probably why the old timers kind of like this area right here. Well, so did a lot of other people because they keep seeming to digging into these banks and doing them some dry wash. Until the sun hasn't even come up yet. <laughs> oh, that's how early it is out here for me. Got to get an early start because if I don't, it's going to get hot on me really soon. It's probably going to be about a hundred and something degrees today. That's a little bit warm, but right now it's kind of a little bit chilly. So I'm going to get suited up and start swinging this detector. Okay, I like to hunt in about the two o'clock position on this here. And I'm using headphones. And I'm in my uh, ground, you've got uh, highly mineralized and, and not. I'm not going to hunt in the highly mineralized ground just because I seem to get a little more depth by that there. I tried not to do that anyways. But let me noise cancellation this here. And then I'll be set to go. Got headphones on so you can't hear the targets, but uh, okay. Okay, I've got me a target right here. I don't know if you can hear that with headphones, but kind of a loud target, but it's got that nice little sound to it. I've got the dais turned on. I'm in gold field on the dais. hear it but I'm not getting the reading so what I need to do clear some of the surface off there okay bring it up 35 38 probably a piece of 42 oh it's got a little bit better there 36, so it's probably a piece of lead, but let me retrieve that. Okay, 
Silly scoop. And I see it. It is going to be a pellet. A little pellet. Not gold. Just a little pellet. It was close to gold, but not gold. Oh well, off to the next one. I've got a target here. It's kind of loud. This is what the dais says it is. I can instantly tell the dais does not go as deep as that 6,000 does to pick up targets. I can barely pick that up. I had to dig down pretty deep for the days to start to read that. It was, it, I thought I picked it up in the very beginning. It was showing me like a 60. And that's kind of what it's showing me now is a 60. So. That would not be gold. And I do see a piece of cable right there. Well, that might be what I've tied into part of that cable. So I'm not going to dig that up. I'll rebury this hole and move on. Well, the sun is getting ready to come up. It's going to be an awesome sunrise, isn't it? We can just sit here and watch that sunrise for a moment, huh? couple things I have learned about the 6,000 is you've got to go very, very slow. And when you come like bushes, go over them. What a lot of people do, they just tend to come up to the bushes and they kind of go around them. Same way with like big rocks, you know, or, or these little bushes right here. You know, get up inside of it. People often just kind of bypass these bushes. You come to rock piles, go up and over them. Don't miss them. There's a dig hole right there. Somebody's moved the surface off. But see that rock right there? Go over it. Kick it out of the way if you have to. Don't be afraid to get up in the bushes though. A lot of people miss those areas. And that's where you're gonna find gold, good gold that is up in there. And a lot of your signals are gonna be very faint. You're gonna barely hear them. So go over them a couple times if in doubt, scrape the ground down. There's another dig hole there, or scrape mark. Another thing I'll do throughout every, like, probably every 10, 15 minutes, I'll just push the uh, noise cancellation button again and uh, kind of let the machine reset itself. It seems to work a little bit better, too, to help you pick up those little faint signals. I like to hunt in the two o'clock position and uh, I'm using a threshold.
Yeah, I got a target right here. Kind of a faint signal, can barely hear it. I know you can't hear it because I got headphones on. Just a faint signal. So again, I'll turn on the dais. Let it do its thing. And I'm not gonna use headphones, so I'm just gonna use the speaker there. Okay. You can kinda hear it with the dais. It's kinda picking that up. It's picking that up. Registering anything yet. Let's dig this up. Okay, the, the signal's still there. One thing, I cannot have the 6000 turned on when I'm running that dais because it just drives that 6000 crazy. Even if I move it like 10, 15 feet away, it's still picking it up. So I have to shut that 6000 off when I'm using this. Probably any machine's going to do the same thing. This here's a hunk of cleachy. Picking that up. Inside that cleachy. That's a nice one. Inside the cleachy. Wow. I'm curious though. Let me set this right here. I'll show you that in a minute. What's that ringing up? This thing's ringing up. 35, 36. 32. 37. Huh, let me show you this. 
that's pretty. That's a pretty one, right inside that cleachy. Nice. Here's a little piece of nugget I just dug up, a little dinky one with the 6,000. The dais didn't register it until I got it out of the hole. And then it picks it up. But it won't pick that up until it's almost right up on top of it. Picks it up good then, but when it was down in the hole, the dais wouldn't pick that up. It's just a little one, but the 6,000 picked that up. It was probably about four or five inches deep. But like I said, the dais wouldn't even pick it up until it was out of the hole. One thing I can tell you about the dais, it seems to handle the hot rocks pretty good, better than some of the other VLF machines. It is a multi-frequency machine, but it does seem to handle the uh, hot rocks a little bit better. And it's very lightweight, and that's nice. So I'm still learning that machine. Still got a lot to learn on it. It's a pretty big learning curve on that machine. There's an awful lot of functions on that machine. And I could probably fine tune that to be an awesome gold machine in itself. Well, the sun's starting to get a little high in the sky and uh, starting to warm up a little bit. And the breeze, the wind's starting to pick up too a little bit been windy here a lot lately too and it kind of really sucks sometimes the wind it's hard to hear you know your signals so you kind of got to go you know put your back against the wind in that damn wind but hey i found a couple little pieces of gold so that was kind of cool now i am in an area it's a no nugget patch area so uh when i first got here this is my second time out here uh, within the last couple of months but last month when i was out here talking to a local they showed me an area where over a hundred nuggets had been taken out of so i kind of hunted around that area and found a couple of them then i kind of broadened out a little bit and i started finding some more gold and i found my own little nugget patch i was talking to another guy that was up here detected he found close to 70 pieces up here and last time i was up here i found just under 60 pieces so, and I think this trip up here, I've gotten, uh, what, three today? I think I've probably got about 10 or something like that, eight or 10 of them so far. So if you did that math, that's what, over 200? And I knew a couple other guys up here. One, I think, pulled out 40-something. One pulled out 30-something. That's probably over 300 pieces of gold or more been pulled out of this area right here. That's huge. And you know what? There's still a lot of it left up here. I am too. on a private mining claim. This is Gold Fever Prospecting Club. Uh, I'll leave you a link down below in case you want that information up here. But this here is an awesome claim. It has produced some large nuggets. I've heard of ounces uh, coming out of here before too. So, you know, you just got to find the right spot. But there's a lot, a lot of gold left up here. I really like it up here. This is really an awesome place. It's peaceful. A lot of trails to ride your ATVs, quads around, explore some of the old towns, old mines. But anyways, got me a piece, couple piece of gold, so I'm going to head back to the home front now. But I uh, sure appreciate you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures. And uh, so, hey, until our paths cross again, you guys all take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks, hey, if you everyone. like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Sure, appreciate it.
gotta agree. Yeah, we're chasing the dog. Let's put another log on the fire. There's times like these that make it all worth the while to me. There's gold in them hills, and I'm gonna find it. It's a sight to see. You can't believe how the color of gold makes you lose control. Well, there's gold in them hills, and I've got the fever. There ain't no other place that I'd rather be When the night comes down, we're all sitting around Playing guitars under the stars Singing about the nugget I've been dreaming about And I say even the picture of it weighed five pounds And it's right under the next rock, I do believe There's gold in them hills and I'm gonna find it It's a sight to see, you can't believe how the color of gold makes you lose 